Howdy folks, behind this voiceover stands a big, strong man. In real life, nothing scares me, except the ocean. And bears. Snakes and spiders too, of course, but monkeys, I suppose. People who don't use turn signals. Inflation. Lactose. But even a big, strong man like me sometimes has to cover his eyes while playing No Man's Sky. One of the scariest games in the world. According to someone, probably, right? But today, I've decided to face my fears and compile a list of the six most terrifying enemies you might encounter in No Man's Sky. Major spoiler warning for some in-game jump scares and exploration encounters. You've been warned. Number six, Asteroid Larva. We're starting this list off with one of the largest, if not the largest, creatures in the game. If this thing's a larva, imagine a full-grown one. Encountering an asteroid larva is an exceedingly rare event in my experience, seeing as I've only encountered one, ever, and it was last week. It dwarfs starships and it's impervious to any damage you might cause. Still, I wouldn't recommend attacking it, as it will retaliate when provoked. Much like the abyssal horrors found on the ocean floor, this creature will damage you with just its imposing gaze. Luckily, it never seems interested in hunting you once you leave it alone, so that puts it at the bottom of this list. Number 5. The Swarm Found aboard some derelict freighters, the Swarm is a pretty unique enemy type in the game. That's because a fight can be avoided if you're sneaky. When you encounter one of these horrific nests aboard a derelict, you have to pay close attention to whether it's stirring or not. If it's dormant, you can go about your business without much trouble. However, if it's stirring, any fast movement will trigger it to burst open, releasing the swarm of mini fiends contained within. These critters aren't terribly threatening alone, however, in groups they can deal damage pretty efficiently. They can climb walls and ceilings and outmaneuver you quickly if you're not careful. And while they're not too dangerous in small groups, what can often happen is that while backstepping away from them in battle, you might trigger another swarm or an automated turret, giving you even more to contend with all at once. And again, they're pretty efficient at causing damage if you don't dispatch them quickly. That makes a large room full of them quite the obstacle course. It's this added stealth component on top of their atmospheric environment that adds to their terror factor. Number 4. Abyssal Horrors Outer space and derelict freighters are spooky sci-fi places, but if you're looking for something a little closer to home, try diving beneath the waves. At the bottom of No Man's Sky's countless oceans, dangerous predators lie in wait for unsuspecting travelers. These creatures are made even more dangerous by the fact that players' oxygen and speed are limited in these encounters. These so-called Abyssal Horrors come in three flavors. The first variety is a jellyfish. Unlike the passive jellies seen on Earth, these glowing fiends actually nest among the rocks and plant life of the ocean floor. Disturbing these places through mining will trigger an ambush in which several jellies may attack the player at once. They're not super dangerous, of course, and you can pretty easily outmaneuver them, but they can take you by surprise if you're not paying attention. The second variety of abyssal horror is a stationary creature, kind of like a barnacle. These can be found sparsely across the ocean floor, but are most commonly found guarding the remains of sunken buildings. Perhaps these are their nests. Their hardened shells protect them from weaponry, so in order to damage them, you'll have to get close enough to get their attention, and thus they'll open their single eye, which is their only weak spot. Doing so, however, puts you in range of their psychic attack. This will paralyze your traveler with terror, preventing both attack and escape. You can fight this off if you're quick enough with your button presses, which should give you just enough of a window to fire back, again only into its eye, and kill it. Be sure to grab its hypnotic eye before it disappears too. So the last variety of abyssal horror is the scariest in my opinion. If you haven't encountered one yourself yet, I recommend skipping ahead to the next entry using the time codes below, as experiencing it for the first time was one of my favorite in-game experiences and I wouldn't want to rob you of it. Alright, for the rest of y'all, you already knew this would make the list as soon as you clicked this video. These alluring lights 
hold Hadal cores, a semi-rare item needed in some recipes. Harvesting them, however, risks disturbing the nest of this abyssal horror. Scanning, and sometimes even swimming by, can also trigger this carnivore's hunger. One of the few intentional jump scares in the game, this one definitely got me the first time as I had played the new Abyss update before the trailer or patch notes were published so I didn't know these guys were in there. And these dudes are scary, just check out the audio for yourself. On top of that, they also have a lot of health for a creature, making them quite dangerous for newer players. Truly terrifying. Number 3. Biological Horrors Returning to the surface, we find an enemy that combines horror with actual challenge. Biological horrors, otherwise known as burrowing monstrosities, are an invasive species found across the galaxy. Their whispering eggs can be found on most planets, clustered around the ruins of some destroyed building. However, it's unknown if they're responsible for this ruined state, or simply drawn to them. On infested or dead planets, you may also find their eggs scattered across the terrain. While harvesting these eggs will yield valuable larval cores, they also trigger an ambush of biological horrors. These guys are no joke. Yeah, they're kind of weak, however they are great at dealing damage. And they're fast. They can lunge at incredible speeds. They also tend to flank, in my experience, meaning you'll often be attacked from behind while focusing on one in front of you. They've also been known to spit acid when they have trouble reaching you, so just standing out of reach doesn't always protect you. Unlike the swarm found aboard derelicts, there isn't a set number of these per encounter, rather it's based on a timer, which means even after you've killed all the ones that attacked you initially, more will continue to rise from the ground and attack you until the attack subsides. These enemies are often deadly to new or unprepared players, making them more of a threat than any of the previous entries on the list. In fact, they probably belong higher on this list. However, bear with me. I think you'll see why with the next entry. Because number two is Hungering Tendrils. These Titan Worm babies were exclusive to the Emergence Expedition until they were added to Infested Planets in the Endurance Update. They burrow just below the surface and lie in wait for travelers who aren't watching their step. They're not super tough to defeat, but they do pack a punch when they connect. And since they're difficult to spot under the grass or other plants, while fighting one you can easily backstep into another one, making them interesting to fight. However, since they don't have any kind of ranged attack, during emergence you could simply stand a ways back and shoot them. With their addition to the main game in Endurance though, came an important improvement that places them at number 2 on this list. Disturbing their nest now triggers a swarm of biological horrors as well, which means you have to move around and dodge those guys while simultaneously dodging the hungering tendrils. So on top of this, if you're trying to collect their vile spawn before they disappear, you can easily find yourself overwhelmed by the sheer number of elements to contend with. This combination of two horrific enemy types makes for a pretty fun encounter if you're a combat type, but it gets even more interesting. And that's because these planets often have pretty bad storms, meaning you also have to manage your hazard protection mid-fight. But on top of that, the sentinels consider killing these creatures a crime, similar to killing regular creatures, which means if a sentinel notices your little brouhaha, you'll have a whole nother problem altogether. And yes, this has happened to me on multiple occasions. Truly terrifying. So, by now you're probably wondering just what the heck I might have up my sleeve for number one. The most terrifying enemy in the game. Now, I could make a joke about the inventory system, bugs, or toxic PvP players, but it's actually much simpler than that. Number one, Predators. You see, No Man's Sky's procedural generation has the ability to turn almost anything into a terrifying predator. Whether it's tentacles reaching up from the ground, sentient balls, crabs, spiders, sharks, eels, or even dinosaurs. Since day one, the procedural predators of No Man's Sky have been terrifying players with their surprise attacks. Believe me, I was terrified of cave crabs and cave spiders when the game first came out. And since larger creatures can deal greater damage, a planet of giant hostile diplos 
is actually a pretty scary place to be. But that's just my opinion and my list of the most terrifying enemies in No Man's Sky. Which one do you think is the scariest? Have you ever been jump scared in No Man's Sky? What's the most terrifying procedural predator you've encountered on your travels? Let me and others know in the comments below. I'm sure you all have plenty of stories of your own. And if you enjoyed my list, feel free to leave a like. It really helps me grow my channel. And speaking of which, if you're interested in more No Man's Sky content like this, subscribing is another great way to support my efforts. As I always say, I make the videos, but y'all make them successful. So thank you to all of my existing subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And I promise I'm still trying to figure out how to celebrate hitting 10k. It'll happen eventually. But uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and have a great Halloween. See y'all in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.